hi there in this video we will be discussing about the fetal hydrops uh, so fetal hydrops is basically the collection of edema fluid within the fetus and uh, you can say during the intrauterine growth of the fetus so this fetal edema can be generalized or localized in generalized edema uh, there is fluid collection in the whole body of the fetus while in localized edema uh, fluid is collected into either into pleural cavity or into peritoneal cavity or on post nuchal lines which is termed as cystic hygroma so uh, there are two common variants of fetal hydrops so one is immune hydrops and other one is non immune hydrops okay so this immune hydrops is basically as a result of some immune reaction and this immune reaction mostly mostly arises due to blood group incompatibility and among blood group incompatibility most common uh, compa- incompatibility is the rh incompatibility it happens when uh, the mother is rh negative mother has rh negative blood group while the father has rh positive blood group as a result the baby conceived is rh positive so whenever an rh negative mother conceives an rh positive uh, baby there is the risk of uh, immune hydrop due to rh incompatibility what happens uh during the uh, delivery and uh, during the conception and delivery what happens some amount of the rh positive blood cells rh positive blood cells cross the placenta and enter into the maternal circulation so in the maternal circulation uh, these rh positive blood cells lead to the production of rh antibodies rh antibodies and these rh antibodies diffuse to the baby's circulation and destroy the red blood cell of baby uh, which lead to the anemia and which lead to the anemia and then lead to the heart failure and circulatory failure which lead to the collection of fluid in the body and fetal hydrops occurs so mother is rh negative baby is rh positive what happens rh positive blood uh, blood cell diffuse to the uh, maternal circulation and lead to the production of rh antibodies these rh antibodies enter into the a uh, baby circulation and lead to the destruction of red blood cells which lead to the heart failure and anemia anemia and uh, as a result fetal hydrops occurs so uh, there are some protective factors uh, to this uh, fetal hydrops and these are uh, first of all abo incompatibility if there is abo incompatibility supposedly uh, mother has uh, blood group uh, supposedly a blood group and it will be having antibodies b and baby has blood group b and it will be having antibodies a so if uh, a mother has blood group a and baby has blood group b so uh, the blood group b blood cell of baby if enter into the mother anti bodies engaged these blood cell will destroy it and mother will not be sensitized so abo incompatibility somehow uh, protects the rh incompatibility and prevents the fetal hydrops uh, in some cases how if mother has a blood group and baby has b blood b blood group then b cell when they diffuse into the mother uh, maternal antibodies b antibodies will destroy these red blood cells and uh, sensitization will not occur another protective factor is dose of rh blood if rh positive blood uh, blood cell entering into the mother are very low then rh uh, response will not occur uh, about 1 ml of the rh positive blood is required to cause this uh, immune response if blood uh, entering into the maternal circulation is less than 1 ml Our immune response may not occur. Moreover, the class of antibodies produced is also uh, important. Uh, when first time uh, mother is sensitized, uh, the antibodies produced are IgM antibodies. IgM antibodies and these IgM antibodies don't cross placenta. They don't cross placenta, and this immune response does not occur. However, on subsequent exposure, or you can say in the next pregnancy, uh, the type of antibodies. Uh, producer igg there is cross switching and igg antibodies produced which cross the placenta and this immune response occurs so in first pregnancy uh, usually this immune response is not uh, encountered however in second pregnancy this immune response can occur due to production of igg antibodies so how uh, this uh, immune response can be prevented when a uh, rh negative mother conceives rh positive baby it is prevented by uh, rh immunoglobulins Uh, which are given one injection is given at 28 weeks of pregnancy and another one is given at 72 hours after the pregnancy or after delivery 72 hours after delivery so if uh, rh positive blood uh, blood cells of baby enter into the mother uh, these uh, rh immunoglobulin tackle that uh, red blood cell and prevent the mother sensitization and this uh, overall immune response
सो सम सम टाइम्स ए बी ओ इनकम्पैटिबिलिटी मे ऑल्सो अराइज दिस कॉमनली अराइजिज वैन मदर हैज़ ब्लड ग्रुप ओ एंड बेबी हैज़ ब्लड ग्रुप ए और बी वॉट विल हैपन इन इफ मदर हैज़ ब्लड ग्रुप ओ शी विल बी हैविंग एंटीबॉडीज एंटीबॉडी ए एंटी ए एंड एंटी बी एंटीबॉडी सो दिस एंटी एंड एंटी बी एंटीबॉडी कैन एंटर इन टू दी फिटल सर्कुलेशन एंड डिस्ट्रॉय इट्स रेड ब्लड सेल्स यूजली दिज एंटी एंड एंटी बी एंटीबॉडीज आर ऑफ आई जी एम कैटेगरी आई जी एम कैटेगरी यूजली डज नॉट क्रॉस प्लेसेंट हाउ एवर इन सम केसिज दिज एंटी एंड एंटी बी कैन बी फाउंड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ आई जी एम आई जी जी एंड इफ दे आर फाउंड इन आई जी जी दे क्रॉस द प्लेसेंटा एंड दे लीड टू दी डिस्ट्रक्शन एंड लाइसिस ऑफ दी आर बी सी सो फिटल हाइड्रॉप्स कैन ऑल्सो अक्कर इन दी ए बी ओ इनकम्पैटिबिलिटी इन सम केसिज इफ दी बदर हैज एन टी एंड एन टी बी इन दी फॉर्म ऑफ आई जी जी and there is no effective prevention to abo incompatibility uh, moreover there can be some non immune causes of the fetal heart drops which include cardiac abnormalities uh, if there are congenital cardiac abnormalities which can lead to the cardiac failure and circulatory collapse they can lead to the fetal heart drops moreover chromosomal abnormalities uh, which include trisomy 13 and trisomy uh, 18 etc which also are associated with certain cardiac abnormalities and can lead to the fetal heart drops moreover anemia thalassemia can also lead to the uh, fetal heart drops and uh, uh, if there is parvovirus infection which can lead to the aplastic anemia it can also lead to the fetal heart drops because these anemias basically lead to the circulatory collapse and uh, the circulatory collapse lead to the collection of fluid in the body and fetal heart drops occurs so this was the basically a mechanism of the immune fetal heart drops and non immune fetal heart drops thank you